Durgle, Gail. Yeah. Or enough. as my Swiss friends call it, Durgle. And what do we call it? Durgle. Okay. <laughs> All righty then. I see it says green on here. Mm -hmm. I don't know why it'd be any greener than uh, anything, any, else. anything else. It's an acid. Well, we had to search high and low on the packaging, the brochure, the whole deal. No, there's two different ones. The Durgal Express is for coffee machines, and the Swiss is for espresso machines. The Swiss espresso. This is technically for more than coffee makers. If you look at the back, they have yeah. a ton of instructions oh, for other things you want to like. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you want to like decalcify. Mm -hmm. You can use it on it. Faucets, aer aerators, shower heads, nozzles. Your toilet. No, I'm just kidding. Fingernails. <laughs> Fingernails. <laughs> um, so. But it's an it's a it's not citric acid. No, it's ambisulfonic acid. Amido amido sulfonic. So the ingredients 15%. list on here is amido sulfonic acid and auxiliary yeah. ingredients. It's fifteen percent <laughs> acid. So anyway, All right. there you go. I mean, woohoo. So it's a di little different style um, than we've used before. Yep. It's We're a liquid. Gonna, Whoop. It's a liquid. So the, this is for the espresso machines. Each one is at one dose. One dose, four ounces in here, and you add it to, it says follow your manufacturer instructions. We're going to do a half a We're tank here. We're doing a here. half a tank on this machine because these tanks are so gigantic. I was afraid it was going to dilute it too much. Too much. Glurk, glurk, glurk. Mmm. Does sip? it smell, gal? No, and it says that in brochure too. It's easier to rinse out, it claims, than citric acid and leaves no smell or residual stuff behind. How do you know it's all out then? Yeah, if you exactly. do taste lemonade. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, right. I guess we'll see. I'm not sticking my tongue on this stuff. Right, I mean. <laughs> what the really? Think about it. Oh, <laughs> so about um, it. we're going to pull some water through. Yep. Um, fill the boiler basically. Yeah, I want to get a fair amount of water in here. Open this up. Pumpity pumpity. And um, so it does denote like all the things you shouldn't put it on. So basically, metallic things. It's gonna. It could have an adverse reaction with. It said metallic things, and it also mentioned um, like granite. Uh, marble stuff like that don't leave it on it so it doesn't sound like you want to leave it on anything yeah really. it could you could have a, an issue you know as that was pouring there was a little whiff came up and I could actually had a little taste oh just from the air oh and what did it taste like it was so subtle it was hard to tell I mean something I couldn't, I, it wasn't citric acid for sure um so, so you feel like we got enough replaced out yeah, I you know it wouldn't hurt to do a little bit more do a little bit more and all you do is run it through the steam arm. Now, it did their say directions. it did say that like on ground and blah 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 ground coffee machine. So something like this that you should do the coffee side first, it's a, and the, then yeah. do. But it's like it's the in this machine, it's the same old story. It's the same story. It didn't it didn't exactly it's make sense. Boiler. It's like run it through one side first, save the solution, put it back through for the other side, but. But I mean, I guess you've got your water works in your coffee side, but that's not very much. No, you know, no, you're really addressing the boiler. Yeah, this is taking care of the boiler. What's the little bit? Of course, you could get scale, I guess, built up. In well, you there. can. There's like these little pieces up inside that particular brew head with a little nipple and springs and things that, if you had calcium and lime built up on it, wouldn't seal properly. Probably. Probably. Okay. So you know what? We'll run some out of there too. Get a little into the brew part of things. Oop, I shut it off. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> this is what. Uh oh, Gail. About. Don't get it all over your countertop. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably enough. So I'm gonna shut it off and let it sit for a while. Now they say that this works up to ten times faster than citric acid. That's what it said. So I guess we'll just pause and, and come back to it yeah. later in a moment. And you, I don't know if you'll know if it's working or not. Like with citric acid, if there's any stuff in there, it turns kind of a blue-green. Mm -hmm. I don't know on this one. I don't think you're going to get that. That's so you're going to just have to pray. Not pray, but assume it's working. you got to pray just to make it today. We're at about, what, half an hour? 20 minutes, yeah. Yeah. So, run some more through. 
see if we see anything showing up here. I've seen some bubbles. Yeah. I didn't, didn't mention soap. It. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Clear. Um, well, Gail, I can't. Can I look into that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's nothing there. Really. And there's no fragrance. Why don't you Just taste it? No. <laughs> <laughs> when I taste the, the citric acid, I know what I'm tasting. <laughs> citric acid. Ingle. So, um, I guess that's kind of it. We'll continue with our descale, the normal process where we run it all through and then yep. do a couple reservoirs of water. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, that's that. That's the Durgol Swiss, yep. Swiss Espresso. On well, these bottles, by the way, they mention it very specifically. They are bio. You didn't recycle. Recycle them. Yep, cool. recycle Maybe that's why they're so green, Gail. Hmm. <laughs> they're pet plastic. P-E-T. Cool. All right. So All right. that's the Durgle review. Yes, it is. Thank you. You bet. Have a good one.